Technology in a BMW is everywhere. Sometimes it's staring you right in the face. The BMW heads-up display. Let's learn a little bit more about them on Beamer Tech's Technology Insights. Welcome to Technology Insights, a new series by Beamer Tech designed to teach you about the technology in your BMW, new or old. Today's topic, the heads-up display. Once only a feature of fighter jets, BMW brought this to the masses in 2004 when it became the first European car manufacturer to offer a head-up display as an integral part of BMW Connected Drive for the 5 Series. And after 2013, full color appeared right before your eyes. So what exactly is a heads-up display? BMW's heads-up display, or HUD, displays a transparent screen onto your windshield displaying relevant information. Now this is designed to keep your eyes on the road and off your cluster, iDrive screen, and phone. The information that can be displayed depends on your BMW, but can include RPM, vehicle status, warning messages, collision warning, navigational turn-by-turn -turn directions, telephone and call information, entertainment menu, check control messages, lane guiding, road speed, speed limits, overtaking restrictions, and active cruise control. If your car is additionally equipped with BMW night vision, your BMW head-up display can also alert you about approaching pedestrians. So, how does this technology work? The HUD is made up of a projector, a projection surface, and an optical module. LED technology is used to replicate the data to be shown, then the display is rotated and mirrored by the system's optical modules and reflected off a thin coating on your windshield. In simple terms, think of it like your HUD is a projector and your windshield is the screen. Let's talk about some controls for your HUD. How do you turn it on or off? If your BMW is made between 2004 and 2018, there's most likely a simple button underneath your headlight controls to accomplish this. In later models, this can be accomplished in your iDrive settings. If you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of the settings, you can find it in the car's settings in your iDrive system. As seen here in this G05, you can adjust the brightness, height, and more. Here's a quick guide on how to change some of these settings. And keep in mind, this can look different depending on what BMW and iDrive system you have. In this 2016 X5 retrofitted with ID6, you'll go to My Vehicle, iDrive Settings, displays, and head-up display. From here, you could turn it on and off and change the displayed information, which includes speed limit information, cruise control, navigation, check control messages, and entertainment and telephone information. Back on the main menu, you could also change the brightness, height, and rotation. On this 2009 E60, you turn it on and off with this button near the headlight controls. To change the settings on this CCC head unit, you'll press the iDrive controller to select the I, navigate to Settings, and bump down to Display Settings. Here you could turn on or off check control messages, cruise control, navigation, and speed. You can also change the brightness. And if your BMW has the M package, you can do even more. If you have iDrive 7, the latest software, and Apple CarPlay from the factory, you could even see Apple Map directions and your current track for Apple Music right on your heads-up display. If you don't have CarPlay activated from the factory, well, then head on over to our website and enter your VIN to see if we can unlock it for you. Now, unfortunately, this had to have been a factory option in your car, as an aftermarket retrofit for Apple CarPlay will not work. Not every modern BMW has this feature though. You either need the technology package, innovation package, or premium package, but even then it's no guarantee that you have it, especially if you're in Europe, and definitely now with the ongoing chip shortage. If you're planning on buying one with a HUD, make sure you check first before you buy. So what if your BMW doesn't have this? Well, unfortunately, due to the ongoing semiconductor shortage, BMW is no longer putting heads-up displays in many of its vehicles, especially those in the European market. If you are still able to find this, it's going to be in something like the Innovation Package, which is going to cost you a few extra thousand dollars. So it's always best to check with your local dealer first. If you don't have this but still want it in your BMW, we unfortunately don't have a retrofit available at the time of making this video, but our R&D team is always working on developing new products. Let us know in the comments what BMW you drive and if you want this for yours. 
And that will do it for this installment of Technology Insights. Let us know in the comments below what you thought, and let us know if there's anything that you would like to learn more about next. For more Technology Insights, as well as a host of other videos such as product reviews, installations, and so much more, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.